Okay, so a couple weeks ago, I made a video about my personal experience with SIBO, and I've gotten some questions just asking what specific regimen I did in order to treat the SIBO. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. And just as a disclaimer, this is just what worked for me. It doesn't happen to be the best thing perhaps for everybody. I just wanted to talk about what I personally did. And obviously before doing any SIBO protocol, definitely talk to a doctor or healthcare practitioner as your body's gonna be undergoing very significant changes on the inside and well, perhaps the outside as well. So first thing that you wanna make sure that you do is make sure all of your detox, excuse me, detox pathways are working properly. So this is gonna be pee, poop, uh, sweating, and breath. Obviously you're already breathing uh, or sweating, try to do some sort of physical activity which makes you sweaty as often as possible. If that's not possible, uh, sitting in a sauna for 20 to 30 minutes can also do this. Make sure you're hydrating extremely well, drinking as much water as you can. And obviously having one full complete bowel movement daily is gonna be necessary, if not more. Uh, if you're only going to the bathroom every three or four days, that's not frequent enough. And the toxins that are gonna be in your bowel can get reabsorbed, which we don't want. So if that's the case, make sure you get all these processes down. And if you don't have it, do not start any of these recommendations that I'm about to go over later. Next up, you're gonna be obviously going through a significant change in your GI tract during this six weeks that we're gonna do this. So we wanna remove everything that we possibly can that's gonna make it harder on your GI tract, harder to digest and absorb food. So this is gonna include, for me, I removed gluten, dairy, and actually all grains as well, just as everything that's perhaps harder to digest or that can cause uh, what's known as intestinal permeability, which makes it even more difficult to digest food. Um, through less secretion of digestive enzymes, et cetera, and reduces inflammation. Then eating hygiene is very important as well. Uh, I did four hours at least in between each meal. And what this does is it allows what's called the migrating motor complex, which are uh, cleansing waves that go through your small intestines down to your large intestines and kind of wipe everything completely clean. Uh, if you're kind of grazing throughout the day, that's when you can kind of get the um, reverse migration of bacteria from the large intestines back up to the small intestines. So with doing this, obviously I wasn't snacking at all in between meals as to not disturb the migrating motor complex. Uh, not overeating is helpful because overeating with a full stomach prevents the churning of the stomach and digestion and absorption of food. And in terms of liquids, uh, hydrated only in between meals and during meals, I had very small sips of liquid only as to not dilute the stomach acid. So now for the actual agents that were used, we'll go over them real quick. Uh, with SIBO, obviously everyone's microbiome is different and the, the empiric treatment that I'm doing, we don't have actual lab report of which bacteria they are and which products that they're susceptible to being treated from. So for this reason, I didn't use just one, two, or antimicrobial, I actually used several. Uh, so going over them first, um, and then before I get into them, uh, if you go to my website, there's a button for my full script account and an entire regimen is actually listed on the full script account. If this is something that you're interested in, uh, everything is there through my website on the full script button. So first item up, um, was a garlic supplement. Uh, it can be listed as garlic or allicin, A-L-L-I-C-I-N. That's an antimicrobial. Um, next one up I did was neem leaf. Uh, you can also use neem oil. And then we had a trantil next. And then there was also berberine, which Berberine is very good. It's also similar to a diabetes agent called metformin, which can lower blood sugar. So if you have diabetes, definitely check with your doctor before using that one. And then ginger root as well. Ginger root is a prokinetic agent. So what that's gonna do is it actually assist the migrating motor complex, so to speak and helping move everything from the large intestine down to the small intestine smoothly. Um, colloidal silver as well. And then lastly, uh, the product, this is actually Interphase Plus, 
which if you looked at the video that I made a few weeks ago, I said I made a mistake in doing the regimen. And the mistake was I took the interface plus, which is this one instead of the regular interface. And this interface plus has a chelating agent, which is something that binds toxins, which sounds good, which it can be. However, if your toxin burden is high, which it very well could be as you're going through this, you may not want to drag any extra toxins into your bloodstream. Uh, for me, I got a lot of extra bloating and other side effects. You can think of the chelating agent as kind of like a magnet if you're dragging it through a bunch of metal filaments. A lot of the filaments will stick to the magnet, but a lot of them will also just be moved out of place and displaced and not actually stuck to the magnet. So that's a little metaphor of kind of what I think happened with my regimen. Um, a couple other things, I don't have the bottles here with me, but N-acetylcysteine, uh, it's usually under just three capital letters, N-A-C. Uh, it also helps with detox. It's a precursor to glutathione, which is the body's most powerful antioxidant. And then the last two things, I have a digestive enzyme and a stomach acid boosting agent, which I felt that for me going through them, it was helpful just because my digestion was kind of weak at the time. So that is everything I wanted to go through with. Uh, fine, sorry, one more point on the interphase which is the one that you want to go for. Uh, if you have an egg allergy, don't take it because it does have eggs included. So that is the entire regimen that I did for my SIBO. Um, please let me know what you think. If you have any questions, please ask. Uh, and if you like the video, please drop a like or leave a comment. Thank you.